hi guys welcome back to the channel so today what I'm actually going to talk to you about is hair porosity okay so I actually want to talk about this because I get questions on this from time to time about my natural hair so the reason I want to talk about this is because sometimes you look at YouTube about like different hair products to try you're like oh my gosh what product do you use but I actually want to inform you that it's very important to know your hair type same thing with body types right you can see something on someone else who may have different physical features than you have and you may think oh that outfit looks really good I'm gonna get that for myself but have you considered would that outfit actually look right on my body type we don't look like we have the same body type so why would I try to wear something that this person has on when we don't have the same features right so it's the same thing with your hair you have to really know your hair before spending so much money on products because that adds up and who wants to just waste money I'll wait That's what I thought. I'm just gonna show you how I was able to find the right products for my hair. So this video is not about me and my hair. It's about helping you and your hair. So first and foremost, you need to know what type of hair you have. So you have type two, type three, or type four. So type two is a looser texture. That's pretty much for maybe a Caucasian person. If, you, if you're looking for a visual example, that's what type two hair is. Type three hair is pretty much where there's a little kink to it, but it's still much looser. It has it has some flexibility in, in its texture. And if you're looking for an illustration, that's pretty much maybe biracial. And type four is the Afrocentric hair. That is the hair that is very tight. It has a lot of volume in it, so it, it takes a while to really detangle it out. You can't just hit the comb from the top all the way down. You gotta start gently at the bottom and then work your way up. So then you have A, B, C hair. You have A hair, it has a little bit of a wave. B hair has like an S curl, and um, C hair has a Z, so it has a zigzag. So A, B, C is actually the, the curl pattern or the wave pattern. So I have learned that I have a combination of type 4A and 4B. My hair is kinky, but it has a bit of a wave and an S curl to it. Now, in regards to hair porosity, that's, the, that's what's most important because that will let you know which products will work for your hair. So for hair porosity, you take, maybe use a brush, um, take a, a strand of maybe some clean hair from a brush. This right here is a strand of my hair, and this is the hair porosity test. So you put your strand of hair in the water. This is a terrible test to do on camera. Ugh. Can you see it? No. You can't really see it. You put a strand of hair in water. If it sinks to the bottom, it's high porosity. So if the hair automatically hits the bottom, that is a high porosity. High porosity hair means it absorbs moisture. It absorbs all the moisture. So you would want to use like an, an anti-humidity cream or something in your hair when the when the when it's very humid outside because your hair will absorb all of that moisture and all of the products that you put in it, it will just sink in and just sop it all up. A little map here, right? If you can see it. So high porosity sinks to the bottom, medium goes right in the middle low is at the at the top of the at the top of the jar you want to definitely invest in um, an anti-humidity product to seal your ends and my favorite actual product is OE dad anti let me let me get it this is not a plug but this is my favorite okay this is heaven in a jar I have medium porosity hair so medium porosity hair is the hair that floats right in the middle like right below the water line as you can see right here, my hair is right here. So that's medium porosity hair. So this has a looser cuticle layer, um, which allows for a steady but moderate flow of moisture in and out of the hair. So this, I hate to say this, but medium porosity hair is the best hair for styling. 
which is why I changed my hair up so much because I got that medium porosity. <laughs> And I just want to say really quick that this video about porosity is not just for black girls, okay? This is for everyone, right? So every woman should know what porosity their hair is so you know what products will work in the long run. And can we admire this arm really quick? I'm training for a marathon. Whew. Back to our regular schedule program. So medium porosity hair, that is when your hair sinks to the middle, which is what is happening in this jar today, all right? That is my hair. So the medium porosity hair, the hair is a, is a protein, right? Just like our, our muscles, right? Muscles are protein, right? Yeah. And if it's not correct, I'll put something down here below if I'm wrong. What happens is like when you work out, you strain your muscles over time. And, and as you strain those muscles, like they just kind of stretch a little bit. And so that's why it's very important that like after you work out, you have some type of protein right after so that it can rebuild those muscles that you just stretched. The same thing with hair. So based on the porosity of your hair, for example, if you have high porosity hair, to this point, you have a looser cuticle. There's a picture. So right, so with the high porosity hair, you have a looser cuticle. Medium porosity hair has a little, has a, it's not as open with the cuticle. And then the low porosity hair, the cuticle is closed. For high porosity hair, it's really good to utilize um, um, moisturizers that have proteins in it because as you know, proteins build. So it's really good to get, um, try to incorporate protein into your, hair regimen like maybe for example this is called ID styling cream and this actually it's a cream for uh, curly hair but it also has protein in it so it's a moisturizer but it has protein in it so this is a, a hair product that I would recommend for anyone with high porosity hair medium porosity hair like myself it has a looser cuticle layering Alarm for moderate flow. So this, this hair is like really good for, for hairstyling, as I mentioned. Um, so the thing about protein with this type of hair is you want to avoid using protein in your daily regimen. You can do a protein treatment, maybe like once a week or so, every, once every two weeks, maybe once a month, do like a little protein treatment just to kind of keep the hair healthy. Um, but it's not recommended that you put it in all the time because protein, for, for medium porosity hair, it, protein is very drying. Low porosity hair, it just floats at the top because it cannot retain moisture. It's moisture resistant. It's hard to get moisture in. But once you get it, you won't ever have to worry about it drying out. You know, it's like a, it's like a woman's heart. Well, I wouldn't say it's like a woman's heart. It's like a person's heart who probably been through some stuff, right? It, it's gonna take you a while to get inside their heart, but then once you do, you're in there, right? Low porosity hair, protein free. You do not wanna put any protein products in your hair. Your hair will be prone to product buildup, and that's when product just sits on top of your hair, and it's really not doing much or adding much value to your hair. That's like someone that's just sleeping on the job. Like, get, get out. Um, you wanna try more moisture rich products that have like jojoba oil, coconut oil, things of that nature. Um, lighter or liquid based products will be, will help avoid um, product buildup. So one of my favorite products, because I'm a balance, so right, I'm a medium. I'm all about balance. Light of body. Moisturize me curl and style mix, so it's, it defines your curls, tame frizz, and it adds moisture and brilliant shine. And it has all the good products of like coconut oil, jojoba oil, all those moisture intense products. I hope, I really, really hope this video was helpful because now when you ask someone, well, what products do you use? First, ask them what porosity their hair is and then know your porosity to know what products will work for you. Because don't you don't need to, you do not need to waste your money. Like why waste your money, right? 
and I've shared with you if you have medium porosity the good thing about medium porosity hair is you can use both so if you do see somebody with some good hair and you're like <laughs> what, hair, what product you use you can use them all you just have to be mindful that if it has a protein in it that you can't use it daily so you would have to use that very sparingly and for me I would probably put protein in my hair if at all once maybe once a month maybe once or twice a month but for the most part I just keep water in it I use this I would use a leave-in conditioner and then my gel because when my hair is not in a protective style it's, it's either in a bun a ponytail or a wash and go that's it and those are the products that I use and if it's in the summer and this is also for my high porosity people I'm telling you right now this is life so that's all I have for you I hope this was educational I hope you enjoyed it I hope this answers all your questions I hope you're having a great day <laughs> um, but once again thank you all for subscribing to the channel I appreciate you all and don't forget to like comment share and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.